came in with my offering of the morning of how about these ideas for the chorus. I don't know which version we were working on. Starting to come into focus. New bridge. Okay, this is the bit that I was saying that never made the song. Well, this is this is that. But there was another new bridge. to offer some kind of eternal, joyful, upful um, melody. Mm. Interesting. That was the first, is that the first? Is that the, f the first time that melody? That's the first time those chords and that melody wow. were tried out. But didn't that shift into... One. I played these on acoustic guitar and everyone was like trying to decide whether they were any good. And then Danny said, hey, why don't you play those two ideas sequentially? Just play one after another, Let's see what happens. So I did and everyone was like, oh, that sounds really good. Let's, let's try that. Let's try that in the big room. When you're at that moment of inception, there's a sense of momentum that takes you into a different place. You're not in the environment. You're not in those four walls. So we all went into the big room. I showed Adam the chords and we just started playing them. Bono got on the microphone and... Did you got Fuck. Did you want Suddenly something very powerful is happening in the room. Something happens, something comes into the room, and you know it. Everyone knew it. Danny, it was one of those hairs on the back of your neck moments. Get the piano in, Edge. That helped me the last time. And I'd like to hear Edge, Joe. He's calling out the chords and moving the chords to figure out where the, the fertile ground is melodically for him. Such a pivotal moment. We've been going through this hard time and nothing seemed to be going right. Suddenly, we were presented with this gift. They just kind of arrived. It steadied everyone's nerves hugely in the studio. We're playing these changes, but we're really listening to what Bono's doing on the microphone. Every time he sort of finds a new place to go melodically, we try and go with him dynamically. We, as a band, always seem to come alive when we're all aware of the fact that there's something new happening in the room. Whatever it is, some little spark, some angle that's new, and then everyone's suddenly there. 
but it can happen very, very quickly or tragically very slowly. But in the case of one, things happened extremely quickly. It's the wrong tempo there. You're cut off by your echo. Yeah. I, I don't want them to take off the echo though if there's a chance they'll lose it. It wasn't that we found a sonic identity for that. That sort of came later. I think it was we found a spiritual identity. That was the important thing. That was what we actually needed. There's a sort of blood pact, which is that we have to be truthful with each other. And so it wasn't working. We'd run out of gas. And maybe just saying that was, you know, that maybe we've outgrown each other. It wasn't Adam's fault, it wasn't Larry's fault, it wasn't Danny's fault. They weren't convinced because we weren't convincing them. The material wasn't done, it wasn't right. Where's the songs? You know, cut the crap, show us your willy, as the cartoon says. <laughs> you ever seen that with a peacock? <laughs> Peacock's showing the big fantail. Somebody goes, just cut the crap and show us your willy. <laughs> Next time we do the chorus, I want you not to end on a G, but end on a C. The way through writer's block is, is always by being truthful. To write a song about division, a bittersweet song about disunity. I think what was going on at that time took us a long time to come to terms with. And I, I almost can't remember what, what we were actually trying to come to terms with. But I know we carried each other to the point where we could stand on our own feet. At the Christmas, everybody just went, fine, that's enough. Go back to Ireland. I think there was about two months where there was a sort of sense of regrouping. Like, right, so that's, that's what we've left behind. Okay, well, we have got one or two things that are leading the way. Berlin was a baptism of fire. It, it was something that we had to go through to realize that really what we were looking for and what we were trying to get to was not something you could find physically outside of ourselves in, in some other city. That there was no magic to it. We had to actually just put the work in and figure out the ideas and hone those ideas down. I mean, it's never going to be a democracy, but if it's a benevolent dictatorship, that allows everybody to feel that they at least get a chance to say yay or nay. And then you get something like one. Everybody, oh, wow, that's an amazing classic song, genius. Brian, oh, I really don't like that. We're going to have to sort that. That's just boring me to tears. The idea is to try to set a scene so that the band doesn't walk into a blank canvas. If it was suddenly all these little glimpses and, oh, I can do that and I can try that. The thing behind the foreground, and push that more and the voice more. So bells back. Bells and Dan's like real uh, attacky guitar. Everybody then. started to see jumping off points. In the background. What about the low one? That's, I really like that. There's a kind of quicksilver sound about it. It's like shimmery. Mm. But I like it like a little sliver of silver um, at the top. But it needs maybe some grit. And maybe that would come from, uh, from your age. Okay. You dirty dog. 